All right, today we're gonna do a little quick tutorial on how to make this lever open this door. So the door has a collider. I'm gonna go over the lever and I press it, it opens, I can walk through the door. How do we do this? Go over to filebase.gameofhq.com, find yourself a lever. We got a ton of them down there. Just go ahead and hit the download button. And once you do that, we also need a door. So this one I'm using the sewer door pack. It's a five pack of doors. In here, I'm gonna go ahead and create a lever script and I'm gonna attach that to my lever. Then once I do that, I'm gonna create two animations, a lever up and a lever down. Once I do that, I'm gonna set that to an animator on the parent object. I'm gonna start it with an empty idle and I'm gonna attach two animation states, lever up and lever down. I'm gonna connect the empty idle to the lever down, then the down to the up, and then I'm gonna take it and invert it back to the down. So it kind of creates this little loop. Once I get this little loop set up, I'm gonna go into the actual animation and I'm gonna to go to the lever down and I'm gonna go ahead and grab our lever up and I'm gonna go grab the child and I'm gonna go into the rotation and now I'm gonna be able to actually rotate the lever itself because it's a child of the animator and it should be able to grab that. And I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this down by half and I'm gonna go ahead and flip with, by holding the record button, I'm gonna flip the rotation to zero. So now the animation is actually going to press this lever up. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side. We're gonna go ahead and do that lever. I'm gonna flip it the opposite way, record that animation. So now my animation plays down. Very cool. So now once I do this, I need to go into my script. I'm gonna create a lever status, which is a bool, and I'm gonna connect the animation component. Then I'm gonna create a new function called interact with lever. If the lever status is false, just tell me what the status is. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the inverse, just so I can check it and make sure it works. Then I'm gonna go ahead and create a parameter called a bool, and I'm gonna call this lever status. And if the lever down status is true, then I'm gonna to go to lever up. And if the lever down status is false, I'm gonna to go to lever down. And then in my bool statement, I'm just gonna do an animation.setBool where the lever status is true, go true. Animation set bool lever status is false, go false. And then I just gotta make sure I invert that lever status every time it runs so that it flips to the opposite end. So when I walk on over to this lever now, it should work, it should go up and down. Perfect. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a brand new animation called door open. And we're gonna attach an animator and that animation, but we'll also create an empty idle before and we'll transition that to our open door. Now we need to actually make the door open in our animator. So go over to an animation tab, select door open, and then we're gonna hit the record button, right click on rotate, hit add key, and let's just go ahead and animate the transition. Once we do that, then we're gonna go ahead and create a new parameter, that's a trigger, and we're gonna call this open door. When we click on the empty idle and we hit the trigger, we will open the door. Then let's go into our script. Let's create a Unity event. So we gotta add the library, and then we need to add the event variable, make sure we serialize this field. Then inside interact with lever, let's go ahead and do that event.invoke. That's going to create the event field right here. We're just gonna drag in that door and we just need to verify what the name of it is. Go to the animator, set trigger string and write out open door. That's all we need to do, hit play. Then we walk on over to the lever, hit the lever and now the door will open. Good work. New to coding? Feel like those tutorials are speaking an alien language? Yeah, we've been there, and that's why we built Game Dev HQ, a place where you can actually learn by building. Our monthly membership gives you access to 900 plus hours of hands-on training from 2D to 3D, VR, AR, first-person and third-person games. Plus, you get access to 12,000 assets in daily check-ins, one-on-one tech support, and live workshops six days a week where we cover the stuff you want to learn. We're not just developers, we're gamers too, and we love helping people turn that first line of code into something special. Come hang out with us and let's build something together.